what could we expect with this book? So we will, after spending about five years, con, con, you know, t- turning, uh, ch- fiddling around with the mechanics of DCC Lankmar, a DCC RPG, so it could become DCC Lankmar, we realized is that, you know, um, it was that we, I said, okay, we're, we're not quite ready to start doing that with 5e at this point. Because, you know, it took us five years to do it with a really easy to monkey with system, you know, that which literally has, you know, appendix in its bones. It, it's going to take us a little longer to, you know, do that with 5e. But we decided, so what the, what you can do with that, however, is that there are plenty of monsters and there are, you know, as the title says, there are plenty of monsters and plenty of magic in uh, <laughs> library stories. And those are a lot more, those are a lot easier to kind of, you know, make available for, you know, to convert over to 5e. I had read Liber in 1988, which was like one of the last, like he, I read The Night and Name of Swords, which was the last of the Fafford and Grey Mouser collections before he passed away in, I think, in 92. Um, and I had heard about Fafford and the Grey Mouser because of deities and demigods back in the day. You know, they, they were all written up in there. And that was, that was my introduction to Liber. And I was, that was like, I don't know what this is. You know, I can't find any of these stories to read them, but this looks awesome and amazing. And um, so I read, you know, I read uh, in 88, I read the, the final collection, which are not his best stories. But then when I was in college, my my college library had the entire run in there, in, like in the college library. And I said, hmm, let me read these. Uh, so I literally read the first one and I went back the next day and got the next one. And I read wow. them over like the course of a week. And it just completely changed my, completely changed the way I look at, at Dungeons and Dragons. And I, I you know, cause I was, you know, I come from the eighties, like the whole Dragonlance high fantasy thing, you know, uh, Fafford and Grey Mouse, the very, what I call blue collar heroes. Yeah. So, so I never answered the question, but Liber is, Liber is one of my two favorite appendix and authors. So, you know, well, maybe one of my three or four, you know, but he's, he's up there in the top five, you know, and anybody, <laughs> We, uh, I think we got more than probably more than 20 monsters from the actual stories. And one thing about Liber is that they're very kind of human centric. It's more often than not Fafford and the Great Mountains are fighting other people. But, you know, on the, there are, you know, there is kind of like you know, the weirdness and, you know, other monsters and magical constructs and all the rest of that stuff. So we did have plenty of stuff that we could draw upon. Um, so we, so converted that over and we got everything from like, you know, like, like snow snakes, you know, like, you know, big furry, big furry snakes, you know, with, with war, warm blood to like the gods of like Mar, who are basically like immortal mummy warlords who, you know, who can, who, who you never want to wake up. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, it's like, like, no. like they wake up to save the city, but you don't want them to wake up. It's like, sometimes it's like, maybe it's better if the city burns down rather than they wake up, you know? So, so that's, um, that's cool. So, so that was, a, that was a lot of fun to kind of put together and, and do that. And of course, you know, there, of course, where there's monsters, there's going to be magic. So, you know, so we have some, um, we have some great spells that, are, that show up and kind of, you know, some of them advanced plots, other of those are, you know, others are just kind of like, well, that'd be useful you know like uh, at one point uh gray mouser is trying to avoid avoid being tracked down uh so he has like this spell which is like turning the um turning all like the, the bloodhounds after him you know like they can't find him and you know all the hunters like i can can't think of a situation where that might be useful for a bunch of 5e adventurers you know so, so like let's, let's put it in there <laughs> so um Very cool. So yeah, so it was designed to basically give a taste of Lankbar to your your five E campaign, and you know, I mean, it's it's really you know, it's a monster book. It spells its magic items. I mean, you know, that's it doesn't require a lot of you know advanced prep in order to incorporate it. You can just literally go through that. You know the rules. You know the mechanics. You know, like okay, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have ghouls of Nawan. You know, I want to have like invisible ghouls who look like skeletons because all their eternal organs and flesh are invisible. You know, that's it. So next time you're in a dungeon, you run around to see some skeletons. Maybe they're not just skeletons. You know, <laughs> so, oh, that's awesome. 